What is going on, guys? RSR here from RSR Collections, and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. So, with uh, the Pokemon playmat being out for uh, for this next video, it only means one thing, guys. We are doing a Pokemon product uh, opening. Yeah! <laughs> so, you know what? I figured, you know what? It is Thanksgiving. The celebrations uh, is kind of cool. I like the theme. I like the concept with the little knowledge and research I've done. And honestly, I figured, you know, why not? I had some extra trade credit figured. Let's give this a shot. Um, with the Pokemon celebrations, guys, like, I think it's a pretty cool concept. It's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, the only thing that sucks is, like, this was, like, the only box that I could find without, like, breaking the bank. Um, it, it just blows my mind. Like, obviously, scalpers will always be a thing, <laughs> right? No matter where you go. But, like, come on, man. Even our local, like, tournament stores are kind of, like, flipping them on their own end. Like, if it was up to me, I would have bought in the, uh, that Pikachu, um, uh, Celebrations Collection box. Uh, I can't find them anywhere right now. And I know they'll restock, but I'll probably won't even bother buying it at this point. But just so you guys know, not naming names, one of our local tournament stores is selling it brand new for a hundred dollars. That is right, guys. A hundred effing dollars is what they're selling it for. Retail's supposed to be like what? Not even fifty bucks, maybe forty-five. Like this was even maybe a bit of a push. Like this was thirty, but I think it's supposed to be like twenty-five, which is whatever. The uh, the mini tin was I think seventeen, which should be maybe about twelve if I'm not mistaken. Canadian, by the way. But it is what it is, guys. I'm just glad I didn't have to pay like too too much uh, over what they should be. Um, if I could find them locally, then maybe I still might buy the uh, the Pikachu box. But nonetheless, guys, Thanksgiving Monday with the Celebrations Collection. Let's do this. Let's go. And just because why not, as part of our Pokemon haul, I ended up picking up uh, not too long ago this uh, beautiful and wonderful Psyduck uh, Funko Pop. <laughs> Psyduck is one of my favorite Pokemon. Like for non like non-starter Pokemon related, like Psyduck slaps, man, like, <laughs> Psyduck is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. All right, guys, so we'll go with the smaller stuff, right? Let's let's get the celebrations out of the way. We'll go for this, uh, what is this, a third gen uh, mini tin, right? So just to, uh, just to give you a summary of the back, right? Now, I'm going to be showing the codes off, so if, if, you know what, feel free to try use them if somebody hasn't already. Guys, I'll tell you right now. I personally do not use uh, any of these um, uh, promo uh, codes that they give you in per pack or whatever. It's crazy though, apparently some of you all have already had some good pulls from the codes I've given, so you know what? Free is free, right? Alright, how do I... Does it... it does it just... okay, I see. This is a... oops. This is an interesting concept, I actually like how it's... Uh, they do these mini tins. So we got our celebration uh, uh, coin, right? Similar size as the Marnie coin uh, that they made in the tournament box. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like this. Gen three was actually not bad, to be honest. I actually don't mind them at all. <laughs> I didn't have many options left. I think I only had the option for Gen five and then the current Gen, which I was just like, eh, I would prefer not to. All right, come on. Oh wow, this is this is embarrassing. <laughs> like I want to be super careful. Okay, there you go. So pack number one and pack number two. Oh right, it's three packs. So is it random then? Like so, it's two celebrations and then one TCG booster pack. Huh. Yeah, I'm curious if it's just random then. If that's the case, darkness blaze. Personally, not one of my favorite sets, but you know it is what it is. So we'll already open up what we know. So, Darkness Ablaze, let's go. So I hope you guys have had luck opening with, uh, you know, these uh, pack openings for uh, celebrations, pack openings, uh, the pack hunt, if anything, right? All right, guys, so let's get to the nitty gritty here. So we got the Skoovit, a Shelmet, a Panpour, a Rookie D, Teddy Ursa, a, what is this again? Reverse Hollow, right? Or Relanketh. Rel Rel and yeah, that's our only holo card in the, the tin. Use it. Use it. Pause the video and use it. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me, guys. Alright, guys. First pack of the celebrations. Uh, mini tin. 
But anyways, yeah, these mini tins are actually pretty, pretty cool concepts, if, uh, if I'm being honest. Kind of wish... I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! does something similar, right? The special editions is what they do. And wow, I'm having a hard time opening these packs. But yeah, the special editions is what they do, is what they used to do, so I guess that's, that's what you could call your, uh, your Yu-Gi-Oh! equivalent. Now they just do, like, the legendary duelist boxes and maximum gold, but you still pay an arm and leg for them. Alright, so we got Reshiram, a Groudon, a Trainer Team Rocket card, nice. A nice, and one of the full arts, uh, the Zykin, the Zykin V. And use the code, guys. Use the code. See ya. Nice. Alright. I don't know what rarity this is, if somebody could help me out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, nice, nice. And we'll just put, uh, yeah, okay. We'll just, uh, do it this way. Alright. And our last pack of this for the celebrations mini tin, guys. Before we head on to the, uh, the big boys, the big box. Again, I'm very still slow at opening Pokemon packs, so my apologies, guys. Alright. Here we go. We got, uh, Yvito. Dialga, nice. Okay, so pause. Alright, so, yes, I know that this card, this Umbreon, this Umbreon is one of the most sought-after cards in this entire set. Little did I know there's two sections in TCG Player that has Celebrations and Celebrations Classic. So I totally missed out and downplayed the reaction so yes as soon as i found out what the value of this umbreon was i literally was like what the actual you know what to fill that sentence with <laughs> right so once again that is my fault i i now i learned my lesson that i should re seriously do my values uh research values or values research before i open these packs because guys i didn't realize how expensive this card actually is out of a what did i spend 16 dollar tin that's insanity guys all right so yes you're gonna notice i'll be more excited over that flying pikachu v max that's okay i wanted to address this here and now enjoy the rest of the video and don't hate your boy rsr peace nice and the uh flying pikachu v max <laughs> that's actually kind of funny i like this card I was uh, researching values real quick too. I didn't realize how easy it is to uh, to complete the set these days. Uh, let's go grab some forge while we can here. Alright, perfect, perfect. And in the sleeve we go. That's actually a pretty uh, pretty cute card if you, uh, if you ask me. Alright, and I think that's it, right, for our mini tins. So let's go move on to, once again, the big boys. So let's just move some of this uh, stuff out of the way. Uh, I guess we don't really need these cards in the in there, right? We'll keep these there. Take that out. Take out the coin because we'll get another one. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's crack open the uh, the Dragapult Prime box. Cool. Cool. I was really hoping I'd had a chance to get the, I think it was a Sylveon box, just because there's only like five bucks more. It really doesn't surprise me that uh, uh, Dragapult was the uh, is the cheapest and as well as the remaining one, but you know, <laughs> what can you do, right? It is what it is. All right. I do like the packaging that, uh, that they do for these Pokemon cards though. All right guys, so we do obviously have our oversized promo card right and oh sick i didn't realize they gave you a binder oh that's awesome free is free well i mean not free but like hmm. so like is there anything in the binder or okay it's just an empty binder that's still this is actually still pretty sick though i appreciate that that's uh pretty thoughtful pretty thoughtful let's uh try to put this back together all right so we'll move that out of the way guys do apologize for all the moving around. All right, so it was same thing, right? Just three packs and your promo card, right? Uh, hmm. Oh, you just pop it out. Okay. All right. 
So of course we have our promo card, right? Dragapult. And oops. If you haven't already, guys, use the codes. Do it. Do it. See ya. So we'll put that out of the way. We got our vivid voltage pack. Two celebrations packs. So like you're wait, hold on. So you only get like three packs in the binder, so you're telling me you're paying extra for So you're telling me it's almost worth it just buying mini tins this whole time then. Well, that's uh Yeah, what a waste of money then. Like if that's all you're getting <laughs> Like Nah, or whatever. That guy, that's just my bad guys. Like if I knew that I'd be getting the same quantity of packs, then I was just, <laughs> I was just better off um, you know, buying like a two or three mini tins instead. Because I could have got two of those for the price of one of these celebrations uh, boxes. But again, it is what it is. Huh. Next time I need to do more reading. And research. <sighs> Alright guys, vivid voltage, let's do this. A Voltorb, Wismer, a Drill Burr, Whalmer, Cot uh, Cottony, a Reverse Hollow Ninjask, and a Crocodile. Okay. Not a lot of luck in these sets, huh? Use the code, use it, use it. See you later. Alright, well, safe to say that I feel like this is gonna be a bust, isn't it? Right? Alright, come on. Alright, here we go. We got, looks like another Groudon already, so. So, another Groudon. A Cosmog, nice, nice. Uh, Imposter Professor Oak. Sol Galeo. And our, you know, our uh, codes. Oh, uh, not bad, I guess. I like the arts that they're doing though, kinda sick if you don't if you ask me as well. I'll probably keep these two for collection just because, you know, Lily is bae. <laughs> and our final pack of this celebrations uh uh pack opening. Let's go. Yeah, it's very disappointing. I really probably should have just gotten a bunch of like two mini tins. But whatever. Again, that's my fault for uh for not reading there. So we got another Cosmog, a Xerneas, and I ruined our card, but we got the Fat Pikachu! Nice! And Yvital, Yvital. Go ahead, go for it guys, go. Use it, use it. But yeah, we got a Fat Pikachu, holy smokes! Where's my penny sleeves here? Uh, ah, there it is. Actually, let me just... What is the most expensive card in the set though? Like. Let's let's take a look as I sleeve this up. Just give me one sec, guys. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna step away here. So the most expensive card, I don't know if you guys can even hear this from this far, is the Mew. The Flying Pikachu V Max is the third expensive card in the set. And my guess is okay, and that Pikachu it really isn't worth anything. So I don't know if you guys were able to hear me. So the Mew is the most expensive card. Uh, the Flying VMAX Pikachu is the third most expensive card in the set, and then this is like two bucks. So, huh? That's uh, that's very interesting. That's uh, very interesting how uh, you know. But again, they did say that this was going to be a smaller set, so I should have known. But whatever, guys. This was fun. I don't open a lot of Pokemon products, so. Uh, I know this video is probably one of my most underwhelming uh, pack openings and videos, but you know, just wanted to make something for you guys, especially because it is the Thanksgiving holiday, and you know, I, once again, just wanted to say from your boy, RSR, from RSR Collections, Happy Thanksgiving. So like I said, guys, make sure you use all those codes. They're all up for grabs. I do not care who uses them. Um, if anything, comment below if you were one of them, just so, you know, we can all keep track here. But anyways, guys, I hope, uh, you know, you've enjoyed this pack opening video once again. Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys enjoy your turkeys, your dinners, your lunches, whatever the case is. Spend time with family and friends. If you haven't already, guys, hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Check out my most other, sorry, my most recent uh, pack opening videos that I've done, especially with the 2021 <laughs> of Ancient Battles pack opening with Edit Ray Collecting. More content to come, so stay tuned for that. So once again, guys, this is your boy, Arsar, from Arsar Collection, signing off. Deuces.